I'll do the intro when Cora's finished eating. Lovely day for it, isn't it? You fucking bitch. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, Good morning. welcome to, we're in Windsor. We're we not. Didn't, we didn't stay in Maidenhead because... This is very Shakespearean, isn't it? To be or not to be. <laughs> I hope we got that in the last episode. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Rowan out today, two bros pro... Pro, pro qualifier. I'll do it for him, he can't speak. He's Thank you very leaving. much. He can't multitask, not just because he's a man, but because it's Corey. So he needs to decide if he's eating or talking. Like, follow, share, subscribe if you like um, cereal. Up. Anyway, we're at the Pro Qualifier today in Maidenhead. We have Andre in April, which you already know because you've seen it all over socials and you watched the last one. So Andre's here with us. He's going to check in. I've seen April. She's got a plan. April has eaten 1,200 grams of carbs in the last two days and isn't full. So she's going to continue to eat into the show, which is absolutely fine. So she's got 100 grams of Coca Pops going in at 7 a.m. this morning, which is nice. Um, so we are ready, I think. I feel Obviously. like I'm not having much participation in this introduction this morning. But we're going to get stuck in. Stay tuned. No surrender. Whatever. We're all coaches into the world. Bring the heat. Ooh. Checking the boy out then, it's been a very, very seamless process. One thing that is always super, super important, when you're able to have things like regionals and pro qualifiers, or you have a number of shows planned out over the season, you're able to, any fucking chance, <laughs> Concord flying over the I'm trying to give a description of what we're doing. So, when you're in a position where you're able to roll through multiple shows, you're able to assess what you've done previously, understand what how that transpired on stage and then potentially how you want to adjust that last time as you know we were we played the size game um we wanted to bring andre in as full as possible because if i'm honest more so than anything else it would have made andre feel a little bit more comfortable we only had a short period of time to progress from last season to this season but on review of andre on stage as you saw if you haven't seen go back and watch there is no problem from a size perspective. And one thing that Andre really feels more comfortable with is what? Being absolutely fucking dialed in. So we're not playing the size game this time. We're obviously going to try and bring the two together, but we're going to really focus on bringing him in absolutely fucking razor sharp. And after review yesterday of all of his food being in, that was very much the reality. So we're going to see an even sharper Dre this morning. Guaranteed. Let's do it. Is going to treat Dre to a uh, double espresso. He just walked past Gail's fucking bakery and he's actually gone in there <laughs> pretending like I'm not sweating and he won't eat anything pre show, but I feel like. He's doing. Trust the nose of a man on prep. So we've landed in Gail's bakery and there are cinnamon buns now. I don't know if Mads is going to appreciate me buying her one or really hate the fact that I bought her one because now she's got to eat it. But <laughs> if anyone knows Mads, she, they know that she loves the cinema bone. So I'm going to buy her one. She can either throw it in the bin or throw it at me or she's going to be very grateful. Which one's it going to be? So, you come to a bakery and if, if you know me, you know I love <laughs> baked goods. So, show day. I'm not going to eat it now, obviously, but I'm going to get a selection of many stuff, many stuff, so you'll see. I'll show you the box that we're getting. Yeah, takeaway. Probably gonna need a box, so get a box. Thank you. Fucking box. Gonna need a box. A fucking box. A fucking box. <laughs> a fucking box. Yeah, can I order some uh, stuff, please? No, I'm gonna need a box. Brilliant. I'm gonna need a bigger box. 
A sim a silly bun. That's a thousand calories. A slice of the chocolate uh, what, what is it? Back back. Back back. back back. back Can we get a slice of that as well? That's two thousand calories. Can I get a blue ring off here? That's three thousand calories. Yeah, can I get a honey cake? That's four thousand calories. And then can I get two chocolate chunk cookies as well? Oh! That's five thousand calories. <laughs> Corey doesn't look happy. Decided to do a surprise Mads with a with a baked good. So I'm going to lay it out on the table so we can all see the response that we get. I'm hoping it's a positive one. I imagine it will be. It will just be the oh that's really nice and she'll flip out fucking my fitness pal straight away. Track that. No such thing as free calories when you track macros, which is why I don't. <laughs> I need you down here, please, right now. Yeah, right now. I'm not playing up for the camera, this is serious. Don't worry about it, it's not an engagement ring. Is it a coffee? Three, two, one. It's not Macca either, by the way. Cause Macca. <laughs> <laughs> She's got a bodybuilder sat at the end of a table. Here's a new one! Ready? Three, I've run away. Two, not another one. <laughs> Oh, yay! Thank you. More to ruin my diet. <laughs> Did he not? Fuck you out of here! Stacked. Yeah. Everything. The way to my heart. Cinnamon. And coffee. Thanks, Cor. Sorry, Beth. What did you eat? How many croissants have you had? Six, seven, eight, eight. <laughs> 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 You're a scumbag. You're actually a scumbag. <laughs> right, there you go. Give me the camera. Oh no. I don't know what to do. You don't take a naughty school, I don't know what's coming here. I'm getting the angles. So, you're right with that fucking camera. Very heavy. So, in some gangs, new members or official members get blooded. Now, Stephen is part of the family, but Stephen's not going to get blooded today because. I need him to hold on to that camera and I can't have him calling fucking sick like he did yesterday. Oh, I, see. Yeah. I don't know why you're making a big deal out of this, it's going to be very underwhelming. <laughs> it's going to be underwhelming with him, it means a lot to me. Oh, nice. Branded. Do you know what? Branded. Do you know what that is? Do you know when, do you know when your nan gives you a pair of socks for Christmas? Oh, lovely. Say, oh, yeah, yeah, lovely. All right. Come on, show the camera. You're the first. You're the first person. First to receive one of these. Yeah. Oh really? There you go. It's a real cash. Put it on. Yeah. Put it on. Hell, mate. <laughs> Bring it. Put it on. Oh, 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 What's the other T-shirt? <laughs> Come on, show the camera the T-shirt. This is new merch. There we go. Yo. Oh, nice, isn't it? Well, yeah. Good so the black, it, the black, red, and white is out for this season. It will always stay as the OG, but we've done something a little bit different. I'm blooded. You're blooded. <laughs> <laughs> now we've just got to move to the bar. <laughs> Fucking here then. Maria. That's pretty much all I've got to say, apart from the fact that I'm going to put my matching jumper on with Stephen. Because <laughs> I am blooded. I am OG blood. This is brand new. Never even tried this on before. It's actually the first time I've seen it in real life. But I mean, technically, I've already seen it because Stephen's in it. <laughs> Ooh. Oh, shit, it's 4 out as well. And you wish you had your. You wish you finished your bagels this morning. But now you look really skinny because it's oversized. Do you reckon, Stephen? Nod if it's good. Your invoice is being paid this month. Okay, then, let's get fucking going. turn now. Corey and Andre are lost somewhere. Our April is here. Um, as I said earlier, we have continued to feed her. She is a carb inhaling burning machine this week. It's good though. We've got a nice full look, which is what we want. 
we've kind of realized that she drops off very quickly when we don't keep food higher even yesterday me feeding her 550 grams of carbs she still lost like 0.5 or 0.6 overnight or something like that so we need to keep her full um if i don't continue to feed her she is dropping off quickly so I've kind of, i think we've kind of found a maintenance food to keep her where she is so i'm just gonna have a look at her now probably put another carb meal in about 80 grams of carbs something like that and just continue to try and hold the look throughout the day i'm so happy i'm gonna have a look at her now first but this is definitely the best that we've been posing is better the look is better we're more conditioned we've got better physique like everything is as good as it could be um and yeah that's all you can do so just have a look So here we go again. We are back to this very moment where everything has been done and all that is left to do is do the fucking job. We are going to have a quick look over Dre. I'm very, very happy. I actually couldn't be happier. I'm happier than last time. And last time I was very content with what we were bringing, how that, how that was going to be presented on stage. This time, we're even sharper. We're going to be even happier, even more, even more, what's the word? where you draw people in. Engaging, You're gonna be more engaging. That's all I want. I want him to go out there, enjoy it, act and demonstrate what a champion and a pro would look like. And that's it. <laughs> it's the leanest I've seen those ankles in a long time. Do you know what? I've had a lot of comments about that. I was like, they're looking pretty streamlined today. Some yeah. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Should be confident. Let's go and fucking do this. Let's go. In second place, could we please take the award to number 845, Andre Henry. That's the result then. Can't do anything about the result other than the fact that we just wear it. Can we have champ? You're getting tan all over my fucking brand new jumper, aren't you? I'll wear it. I'll wear it. I'll wear it. Um, we've had some feedback. I'll, I'll go into that a little bit later. But in terms of what we what we managed to achieve over a very very short period of time, being together since this time last year basically pretty yeah, much yeah, yeah. so in a, in a year's in a year's period of time we've done we've done an overall we've done the place in every show the place in every, every show. show we've been top we've been yeah, top yeah. through been knocking yeah, yeah. it's been there it is who you stand next to on the day but it's mm -hmm. also being able to bring the best you we possibly can and mm -hmm. um, i think we've got more that we can 
more that we can bring um, naturally. Mm -hmm. But we're going to go away, we're going to go and have a sit down, we're going to talk about what we want to do moving mm -hmm. forward. We have had feedback, and I'll, like I said, I'll talk to you guys about that. But anything you want to say? Um, no, man, just thank you, bro. Fucking, yeah. like, mate, like, I, I love this game, and I think like the last show, I went into it with just so much expectations in myself. I feel like I'm then... your boyfriend. <laughs> <laughs> this show, I've just literally enjoyed myself. I fucking loved it up there. Like, I love doing this, and just happy. I'm happy with the placement. Like, I, I knew where I was going to land, sort of. Even when I went backstage, I sort of knew where I was going to land. Michael was sharp, so. He deserved to win, so well done to him. And then we know what we need to do going forward. So it's an improvement as well from, from, from the regional, the regional, which is yeah, good. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I'm happy. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. well done. So April has gone backstage. We just snuck her round the back. She hasn't done another check-in. She doesn't need one. We've put a grand total of around 1,500 grams of carbs in her over the last two and a half days. She looks very, very good. Like, it's the best. It's the best package she could bring. We've changed her posing completely from the regional. Like I said on that vlog like that's why the regionals are important so you can make adjustments and she's we've completely changed her package we've changed the peak she's full she she's posing well like i think this is the best that she could be or the best she's ever been for two bros for ifbb so i'm very excited for her she feels relaxed she feels good which is the most important thing and the judging today seems to have gone in a lot of categories like slightly different to last week and they go it seems to be going a lot for structure and actually what the category should be so i'm very very like hopeful and excited for her so best she can be she feels confident she's gone backstage so we're going to go in and uh, and watch Tank version two. <laughs> too big, too wide, too much muscle. No leaner, look even bigger. Uh, so we got third again today, which you would have seen, which is fine. To be fair, it was exactly the same class that she stood in last week. Same people, same class. And it looked like it was very favoured towards the more slight girls today. Even when we watched the Pini Bikini Pro Show, which I'm very glad I watched because it gave a really, really, really nice bit of perspective of like what Maz was going for today and whether that's what Bikini is going to be this year or whether that's Maz's preference, I don't know. But more slight, a little bit more balanced. Now, got feedback directly from Maz and no more condition no more muscle you're too big you're too big but if you grow anything just upper glue no more width which is fine was the feedback last week as well but obviously it's quite difficult because she's already got a lot of tissue so where do you go from here so we're gonna have a little bit of a think um we've got potentially sweden plans and potentially portugal plans but if you compare april to some of the pros today that are bigger she probably fits in a lot more than with some of the amateurs but this is a stepping stone thing and we have to be strategic with the lineup that she stands in and what look we bring as um what look we bring as amateurs to the stage so plan of action is to go away have a little bit of think about what we do there and how we bring a look that is more fitted to what's being judged on stage with the lineup that she's in reality is if she's going to be a pro she's going to she will have to grow these girls are bigger than april but as an amateur the feedback is that she's too big so it's not an off-season thing it's a, it's what do we do in, in prep to bring the look they want. So that's what we're going to go away and do. For now, we're going to go and have some food. April's going to, she's, to what? I've got a protein bar. Have a protein bar. <laughs> she never eats because she's too scared to get another Stairmaster, which isn't the game. But yeah, we're, I'm happy, like I'm really happy with the look. Like one thing that is important is we can only bring our best on the day and this is the best 
it was ever looked on stage. Posing, physique, condition, shape, fullness, everything was just exactly what I wanted and it, like, happy. Yeah, I, I think that we're the best we could be. So, if you take on the feedback, change the look, try again. Try again. So it's unlucky. Get out of Braywick and get out of the UK is what we need to do. <laughs> I am broken. We're back. It's been a long two and a half weeks. Where it all began this morning. I can honestly tell you that today was not the best day. <laughs> um, we do have a lot of ups and downs, don't we? Why are you copying me? I thought this is what we were doing. Is it quite comfy? <laughs> yeah. It is comfy, isn't it? Rest, Stabilising. Rest one leg. Stabilising. I know we're back to it, so. Um, <laughs> as, um, as, as coaches, you continue to learn every single show with every single athlete. You take something new away, take feedback, things that you could have done differently, things that you will do differently next time, and inevitably creating the level of progression that each and every athlete, each and every coach needs, every single individual needs to be able to get one step closer to the goal. I think that was fucking outstanding. Yes, I agree with On that. On that note. And I agree. So, I guess it's what's next, really. What's next? For April, it is uh, fit in more, get smaller. So she's going to be on mission. Uh, size. Yeah, I mean, it's not downsize, it's just fit in more. Like, we just need to be a bit less of everything, especially going in as an amateur for, for a pro card. I think when you look at the pros today, they're fucking big, but to get the job done, she's we've got to follow the feedback. Even if she doesn't like it, we've got to follow the feedback. The feedback is just too big, so therefore we shrink a little bit. This is what it is. Andre? Andre is going into an off season. Um, yeah, I think I think I think in a full full review, and, I, and I've had this conversation with him. And obviously, naturally, he knows the reality anyway. But I, I would have rather he stayed in off season for longer um, to be able to progress more. We we decided not to do that. One of the main reasons for that was just mental fatigue. It's very easy to forget how hard prep is yeah. when you're eating over. 3,000 calories a day when you're satiated when you're, when you're met with hunger and you've no longer got those massive diet fatigue weighing over you so the reality was um, as we navigated through this prep um, the, the focus and um, importance really really changed and I, I'm very very happy with what we've, what we've brought I'm, I'm happy with his yeah. level of commitment that he's, that he's continuing to show um, and development that he's showing as an athlete um, and we're just continuing to get better but we go again no surrender um, but yeah he needs to go into uh, he needs to go into a growth phase now spend some time there materialise the progression that he needs the tissue that he needs the quality the quality of tissue that he needs as, a, as, a, as an ability to show to be pro worthy to stand quality on level conditioning yeah. as well um, and then we go from there so I'm happy. On that note. On that note, we're fucking off. Um, I'm very tired. Might fall asleep on my dinner. I'll try not to. See you later. Peace! <laughs>